moving on. One of the biggest crises facing Indian cricket at the moment is injuries to key players. Workload management is one way of dealing with this issue. But what happens to workload management when the same Indian players turn up for their IPL sides? We spoke to Punjab Kings co-owner Neswadia about this and more pressing issues facing the IPL in this India Today exclusive. There were reports earlier which would come out uh, of the franchises that you weren't very happy with, you know, Mohali as a venue because of not great crowd turnout. If you compared it to some other venues, you would see a great crowd turnout. Mohali on that uh, count wasn't really living up to the billing. Uh, do you think that situation has changed right now? Are you happy with, with where that stands? Because uh, Punjab Kings was one team that would even look at playing, you know, far away from that state when it came to home matches. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we had Dharamshala earlier as a second venue. Um, yeah. We were we were happy with Dharamshala. Uh, we have had issues with Punjab, but I think it's also yeah. to do with our performance, the way we market, the way we sell it. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, there, there, there's been lessons for us in that, and we've tried to plug that, give the fans a better experience, make the whole thing a much more wholesome experience. And, and you know, that's, uh, that's what we've done this year. And next year, we move to a new, new stadium, so that will be fun as well. But uh, have a great relationship with the PCA and the people of Punjab. And I think it's just time we, uh, we deliver what we are, you know, destined to, you know, reach the top four and then try and lift the trophy finally this year. Mm. Uh, just going to talk about IPL as a whole. Uh, you now have 10 teams and uh, just a couple of years ago, there was an assurance from the BCCI that this probably will be a 90 plus day league going forward. It hasn't happened in the two seasons that you've had this season and the previous one when you've had 10 teams. Uh, I, is that still on the line? What are the team owners? They've had conversations with the BCCI and that 90 plus days. Is that something that you're looking forward to as a team owner? Uh, yeah, definitely, you know, the more matches, the better. I, I think, you know, we've always talked about an, a longer season um, or, or even two seasons, but let's start with the current season, trying to make that longer and better. I, I think it's to do a lot with the cricketing window, which we have uh, in terms of the ICC. But listen, I mean, we've increased the games and step by step, I think we get to, you know, what we've, um, what we've anticipated to get to. Mm. Uh, there is a new rule in town. It's called the impact player rule. And, and believe you me, that's the one word that's been, you know, trending on social media. We follow all of that. I'd want to know your perspective. What have you made of it now that we've seen a few matches played with that particular rule? Do you think it's made it more exciting or do you think, you know, one criticism about cricket is that it's too complicated and it's made it more complicated? How do you view it? There's been mixed reactions so far. There'll always be mixed reactions in anything. There'll always be the naysayers and those yeah. who believe that, uh, you know, it should be there. Why not is, is what I say. You know, yeah. at the end of the day, I think the BCCI has demonstrated um, that it's got the best tournament in the world, if not in, in all sport, in, in cricket, without doubt. Um, we've always been very innovative, you know, um, and I think it's, it's high time that we bring in uh, technology, which we have, whether it's for the wide balls, which we have, and no balls this year, and whether it's for the impact player, like you have in football. I mean, look at football. You went from three subs to five, to five. because of COVID. So, I mean, five is you can, you can almost substitute your entire team almost. You know, there are only 11 yeah. in football. So, I think it's, it's good to have one sub. I, I, I think we should also look at two subs going forward. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe that will be something more interesting because then the dynamics really change. You know, you can have one in one innings, one in another, two in one innings. And eventually, what do we want to do? We want the IPL to be as competitive as ever, right? I mean, we don't want... Yeah. Um, it's, it's The more competitive each of the teams are, the better for the league, the, the more enjoyment to the fans. And I think that's what's been demonstrated in the last uh, one week or... Yeah, it's been, what, nine days of, of IPL 16. Mm, yes, it surely has made uh, a few matches very exciting because you now have uh, 12 players. So it just makes the team very strong and the dynamics have completely changed. Just another perspective I'd want from you because this is, you know, uh, this is a discussion. It's an ongoing discussion between the stakeholders of the IPL and stakeholders of Indian cricket. And that has got to do with a lot of injury management, workload management, because we know that IPL franchises and Indian cricket share a few players. You have a few Indian players in your squad as well. Do you think... Uh, 
you know, uh, there is a school of thought that maybe this is a World Cup year. Why don't you have that workload management? You rest a few players. We've heard from the BCCI saying they'll speak to franchises and there are certain players that are part of the Indian setup. If, if we will request them to have them sit on the bench, if that will help them play longer for the Indian team. Have you had those conversations? And you as a team owner, are you OK with it? Let's say uh, to, to rest a player for the Indian team, but that might then dent your strength of your playing 11. How do you view that? The IPL today, we only play 14 matches, one four. Mm. Mm. So, uh, you know, the Indian cricket calendar is, I don't even know how many matches, God knows, must be. Yeah. I, would, I, would, I would hazard a guess, including test matches, one day T20, it's probably about 120 to 150, if I'm correct, mm. Mm. overall in the year. So whatever we do uh, is not going to have much impact. The way I would, the way I see it, and I think that is how the BCCI is seeing it, is that you've got three formats, the five, the one, and the T20. And you need to have the best team for that. And I think England have, have proven and demonstrated and shown, and so have other countries, such as Australia, how important it is to have a mix and a match, to have different players, because it's, it's now become a specialization. I mean, yes. take uh, Chitashwad. Take, take uh, Chiteshwar Pujara. I mean, he's a test specialist. He plays in the test matches. We must try and do that across the board for all formats. And that would not only help us to have a better bench strength for each 5, 1 and T20 matches, but also allow those who uh, are our lead players to take a rest and also allow other players to come to the fore. You know, and mm. it will only improve the talent and the bench strength. Finally, Inez, before we let you go, uh, I want to talk to you about uh, your initiative, uh, uh, you know, your CSR initiative, Namodhyan. I, I believe there is, a, there is a campaign there that you've come up with, Basti, Masti, and Khel, where you're actually taking a lot of young kids to go and watch uh, the Punjab games. Could you just tell us a bit about that and the idea behind it? Yeah, it's called uh, Hasti, Masti, Khel. And okay. the simple, pro simple objective is to... Namyo Dan works with a lot of underprivileged and orphan children. There are 63 million in India today. So we work a lot with them uh, over the last two years. And we said, why not take them for a cricket match? So last year we tested it. We took about 60 kids the first match. The second match, we took about 120 kids, all girls, to a cricket match. And it was, they just loved it and we loved it. And then we said, okay, they have, they've had, and, and they said, they said, sir, We've never been to a cricket match. You've given us a dream. You've, you've made our dreams come true. And I said, okay, why not have millions or thousands of dreams come true for kids who are not as fortunate as us, who have mm -hmm. the opportunity to go to a match apart from watching on TV and the apps. And, you know, so uh, I'm, I'm very proud to say that uh, this year, um, you know, Namyodan, which is the, 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 the foundation I work with, uh, has coined uh, this initiative, Hasti Masti Yoga. And Punjab Kings has supported it. Uh, you know, Preeti and Mohit have supported it. We had 800 kids uh, at the match last week. Uh, I've written personally, since I'm friends with all the owners, I've written to all the owners to say, can you also uh, support this initiative? So for example, Lucknow uh, has supported it apart from others. And what we yeah. do is we simply, we simply identify the NGOs and these kids from around Lucknow or around Delhi, in that catchment area, we find them, we, we get volunteers, we bring them to the match, and Lucknow or Punjab Kings, whichever it might be, will sponsor the conveyance, sponsor um, you know, the ticket and the t-shirt, and the kids were having a blast. I was looking at some of the videos of Lucknow, they were cheering for KL Rahul, you know, mm -hmm. they made a video in the morning, they were so excited, I mean, it was, you have to watch it just to, just to see the joy and happiness. I mean, you think there's joy and happiness when, when you and I cheer or our team wins? Forget it. That is <laughs> nothing. I mean, they are just supreme. And Right. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to check out some of those videos, maybe go to a ground one day and see it for myself. But it's a great initiative, Ness. And Thank I think, you. who knows, maybe in the future, you might just unearth a new champion. Now, the one who's watched it from the stands could, could be playing uh, in the middle as well. Because you gave example of Rinku Singh. He must have been one of those kids, maybe 10 100%. years ago. Exactly yeah. right. That, that is, yeah. you know, listen, you know, we're privileged to be in a position, Nikhil, 
you know, our role is to, we have to make dreams a reality for those who dream. Yep. Yep. That's very well summed up. And on that note, Ned, thanks so much for taking Thank our you. time and speaking to India today. You've been very generous you. with your time. We were trying to do it for a long time, but I'm so glad it's finally happened.